Hey everybody, Arthur here with another figure unboxing and review. Today we are still following through with these uh, Marvel Legends X-Men uh, wave and uh, today we're doing cable as you can see on um, the box is your typical Marvel Legends um, style packaging and uh, it's the yellow and black for this series has the X-Men logo on top or it could be X-Force, could be X-Factor or every other group that uses that little X but it's there. Um, we have a awesome cable image on the back. Why did I say back? Side. Wow. Uh, and then the same image on the uh, left side as well. Um, as for the back, um, you got a little bio bottom. Figure pose. This pose is actually really decent pose for the figure. Um, unlike some of the other ones when you look on the back. And then as you can see, we have the rest of the line. Got the build uh, figure juggernaut in the front. Wolverine, Kitty Pride, Iceman, Havoc, Rogue. Phoenix, Cable, and Deadpool. And I've done video reviews on everybody. And then next will actually be, uh, well, the current one, Cable. And the next one will be Deadpool. And then we'll top it all off with a juggernaut, re build a figure review, and comparison, and all that awesome stuff. So we'll compare it to some other juggernauts, even the Diamond Select juggernauts. Um, let's go ahead and uh, pop open this package and take a look uh, at Cable. Here we have Cable. Let's figure when I was taking out of the packaging, he feels like a solid figure. He's a lot bigger than I was actually expecting as well. But uh, this, this figure's awesome. Like I was uh, questioning the actual design of his costume um, compared to the typical Cable costume. And I dig it. I really, really like it. And... Uh, just do a little 360 rotate. Uh, I didn't flatten his one foot down, so making it a little bit difficult to uh, make sure he stands. To Look at that. Scars on those face, the X on his arm. Those gloves just look badass. But the figure I'm just highly, highly impressed with. Let's, go, let's, let's just take a little closer look. So, the face sculpt. And what more do you want from this? It is beautiful. Those actual cuts in his face are actually like... And molded into the plastic. His uh, cybernetic part looking really, really awesome. The uh, the red around the yellow eye, like his ears, the hair. I mean, I guess there's a little bit of pain around the hair that could have went down closer to the ears, but it's awesome. The metal on his neck. I mean, that that's cable. That's cable to the T. Now, this little armor vest definitely reminds me of something that you'd see on like a G.I. Joe figure a little bit. But uh, what's really cool, wish they would have painted it or did a little bit of gray wash or black wash to it. But as you can see, there's a bunch of holes. Um, and I'm not talking about the ones that are supposed to be there. I'm talking about the ones that have like divots. So they're like bullet holes. So <laughs> he's been getting shot at. And it's been hitting the chest and back and everything. And... Just looks really cool. I just wish they would have added a little bit of like a wash to it to make him stand out a little bit more. Now, his arm, that's his human arm, but his like cybernetic arm looks really, really awesome. Um, again, with the silvering, you can get some of that marbleization going on. Um, but it doesn't take away from the figure. Fingers are metal, um, painted that way. And then his like lower section um, from torso down is basically from the nuke figure with new calves and the shin guards, but feet are about the same. Very solid figure. 
you know, it has some nice thick plastic, feels heavy. Um, he did come with uh, some accessories, one of them being this, like, grayish green metallic looking gun. I mean, it looks like some futuristic weapon that uh, Cable would use. And plus, you know, since uh, Rob Liefeld couldn't really draw guns very well, this is sort of what we sort of get to. You know, he uses these weird futuristic weapons because he wasn't really too good at drawing guns. And, uh, but no, I mean, this one's pretty cool. Looks like a weird dick hidden inside the front up there. Don't know why they had to show, like, that weird thing when they could have just kept it, you know, the same as this side. But, it's weird. And it came with a strand of, uh, strain of bullets, which is another thing that's sort of weird, too. It's like, you have a clip right here that has bullets, but you also need this strand right here. And this strand does come out. You know, the top one when I got it was a little bit bent, but it is what it is. Nothing, nothing, not a big deal because it's crammed up in that clip. But uh, figure is awesome. Accessories, awesome. He comes with the crotch lowered torso of Juggernaut with his belt. Belt is a separate piece. Some actually some thick plastic there. And uh, let's get some uh, poses of this figure with some guns in his hands. And there we have him. Guns in hand. Just ready to go to freaking war. But uh, some cool things. Um, besides the guns actually fitting in his hands. Um, trigger figure probably could have fit through there. I was worried about like mess like messing it up or messing the paint on the fingers. Um, but this one, no issues whatsoever getting that, uh, finger through the trigger. But, uh, looks really good. I love the fact that they're like a greenish gray, so they don't blend in with his arms and things like that. But, uh, overall, if you like Cable, um, he's an amazing figure. Uh, I haven't really been disappointed too much with this, uh, line of figures, um, even with, you know, me hating on Phoenix and stuff like that, but like the figure, all the figures have been really good, minus those couple defects ahead, but, um, yeah, I really, really love this wave, so if, uh, Hasbro and Marvel keep pumping out these, uh, quality figures like this, uh, I'm just gonna be happy, keep, keep releasing some more X-Men, X-Force, and some X-Factor, get all those guys out there, but, uh, I hope everybody enjoys this video, um, Again, comment, like, subscribe if you are enjoying what I'm putting out there. And uh, feel free to ask questions and I will answer when I see them. Thank you all that are watching and uh, have a great rest of your day.